Um, I feel like my, my entire life has been building towards the creation of Ms. Marvel. We talk about Islam a lot in politics and media, um, even in stories, but we don't talk about Muslims and their lives. I mean, it was, it was very difficult growing up as a young Muslim in the States. Um, it's hard enough being a 10-year-old uh, dealing with um, acne and being the only brown person in a classroom. Uh, and then on top of it, like, terrorism gets thrown out at you and you don't know what that means. Uh, and you feel um, angry, you feel defensive, because there's this perception when you see Muslims, there's this image that is put out there. And for Muslim women in particular, it's usually you know a woman wearing hijab or a niqab or an abaya or something like that. And we wanted to flip the script on it a bit because there are so many Muslim women out there who practice Islam and not necessarily in that way. We wanted to tell a perspective, like from a very grounded eye perspective, of what it meant to be uh, you know, a, a young woman, to be a teenager, um, and at the same time, someone who happens to be Muslim. We had a feeling that it would have a big response. I didn't realize the, the massive effect that it would have. Um, and so immediately, we had fan art, like maybe like hours after the announcement. It was one of the top trending um, topics on, on social media. So there was a big message out there that a huge entertainment company was saying, we are going to tell the story of a young Muslim American and we're going to put our name on this character. Her name is Ms. Marvel. That's a really big account. I have no idea how I got away with that. What has been most exciting for me is, you know, she's a young girl from Jersey City and yet, you know, uh, a, a young, um, like, Malaysian girl who happens to be living in Dubai is coming up to me and saying, oh, this is really, I love this. I'm connecting with this character. And that's what's, that's really the point, you know, we don't want to necessarily go in and say this is just for this person. The, the, the development of this character has been about how she can connect with everyone. Um, she is meant to be every man, every woman. I think people have had a lot of misperceptions about comic books because you think it's men in tights, men in capes, uh, beating up the bad guy and that's about it. And yet there are so many complex storylines, there's so many great metaphors, really complicated social issues. Um, and it's just done through uh, the, the theatrics of superhero storytelling. I've always wanted Ms. Marvel to not necessarily be a political statement. I want her to be a unifier. I want her to bring people together. I want her to, um, uh, you know, break stereotypes, yes, but, um, tell people that this is what they should be striving for, that despite their fears and their insecurities, their misunderstandings of the world outside of them, uh, that there are things that they need to be striving for that are ultimately positive and good.